What's going on my dudes? One Step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today talking about the top five things that I would personally change and or fix about the gameplay to help enhance it and or make it better. I love Mortal Kombat 1. I love the gameplay. I love the characters. I love the cameos. I love a lot of things about it, but these are just things that I think, whether small or big changes, would help enhance the gameplay and again, make it better. This is more of a wish list kind of thing. I don't think any of these will actually ever happen. I hope they do, but, but I personally doubt it. So this is more of a, a what I would change wish list about the game. With that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. What would you change about Mortal Kombat 1's gameplay and why? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get into this list. The first thing that I would change and or fix about this game is I would allow the characters, I would allow the gameplay to be able to grab your opponent from the air. Like you're, they're in the air, I want to grab them. Like, like we used to be able to do that in Mortal Kombat X and it was awesome. It felt just like a staple feature because every character has a grab brutality and you kind of have to just throw it out there and hopefully hit the grab to do the brutality. But if I could do it inside of a combo, go grab them and then do the brutality, that would be so much easier. Plus, whether you like it or not, Mortal Kombat 1 allows for grab combos using cameos. So to be able to do a combo, then grab them and then do the grab combo and continue it would just be really cool and help enhance the combo system. I mainly want to be able to do grab brutalities while inside of a combo rather than just letting the combo drop, letting them stand up then try to go for the grab. I want to be able to grab my opponent from the air. I cannot believe they took it out. I miss it. I think it's great. I want it back. Speaking of grabbing, I hate the way that Mortal Kombat 1 does their grabs. Not just grabbing, the way that you can tech grab or get out of a grab. For those that do not know, Mortal Kombat has forward throws and back throws. So your back throw is your main character's throw. Your forward throw is your cameo's throw. And in order to get out of those throws is different things. You have to press one or three to get out of the back throw and two or four to get out of the forward throw. And if you guess wrong, you're not gonna get out of it. Even if you called the throw correctly, even if you knew and you read, okay, they're gonna grab me, I'm gonna get out of it. If you press the wrong button, you're not gonna get out of it. That's actually gonna say escape failed, which I think should not exist in this game. It feels like every other fighting game simply allows you to detect the throw by just grabbing them back. My Mortal Kombat 1's like, nope, you have one frame to guess. And if you guess wrong, you're still getting thrown. So if we, you know, we tech it, there it, we, we got it, we, we guessed right. But if we guess wrong, escape failed like how does that even exist like why am i failing if i called it it is literally a 50 50 shot you're guessing on what throw they're gonna do back or forward so let's say you're at set three round three you're both less than you know five percent they go for the grab but you called it and you press the wrong button you still lost you lost off of a 50 50 off of a grab i i don't like that i would just make it so that way you take the grab if you just grab them right back i could go off on a rant on that subject but we're gonna move on to number three those that don't know this list right here shows that each character and cameo has set HP. And as you can see, the cameos affect your HP, your health. I uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I would change it so the cameos don't affect your health. Like I give that every character, well, some characters might have different base health. Like usually in fighting games, the bigger characters, like in Street Fighter, Zangief has more health than the rest of the roster. He's a bigger character. That has always existed in fighting games. I get it. But maybe in this game, General Shao having more health kind of makes sense. The bigger, slower characters, but they're bigger so they have more health and sometimes the glass cannons the smaller but faster characters have a little bit less health but being able to affect that off of your cameo kind of annoying like right now you can see i'm using chameleon but i'm losing out on health so just because i want to use this specific cameo and reptile doesn't use chameleon he now has more health than i do i think that every character should have a base health of a thousand and then the one-offs like garrus and shao Kahn, they have you know 1050 or 1100 sure in that same vein i know we're gonna kind of do two and one here i would take away the ability to mash during a fatal blow to get more damage. Both of these concepts, cameos giving you more health based off the one you choose or less health, and then fatal blows allowing you to mash, you know, mash buttons during the fatal blow to get more damage, both just seem kind of silly. I mean, you can see right here the fatal blow, and this is for every character, by the way. This is part of the game. Press basic attack buttons during hits of the fatal blow to influence damage. Again, more damage. And if your opponent is also mashing during the fatal blow, they're going to help reduce the damage that you're trying to increase. And that's just silly because it's like once everybody in the community knows that's a factor, then everyone's just going to mash during the fatal blow. And then if you mash all correctly, it's just going to do the base damage it's meant to do in the first place. How about we just have fatal blows do that base damage anyways? Why am I playing a mashing Mario Party game during a fatal blow? It, it, it's, it just seems silly. I feel silly like mashing my buttons during the fatal blow. I don't like it. Like if I hit the fatal blow, let me just get the fatal blow damage scaled if it's in a combo, sure. But I feel like a 
fifth grader just like smashing my controller during a fatal blow to try to get more damage and that's not even going to work out if my opponent knows about this thing because then they're going to mash during the fatal blow and then just reduce that damage it's it's all just redundant it makes no sense i i would just simply take it out that's it nether realm studios who made injustice 2 had a great idea when they added stage transitions in combos and on stages because two things it added stage variety so you can go from one stage to another stage in the middle of a fight and that was really cool the animations looked awesome going from stage to stage and then guilty gear strive did it even better because as soon as you got too far in a corner combo the opponent would just stick to the wall you hit him one more time and a stage transition would automatically happen and that is super helpful because it kind of takes away the ability to absolutely get muffed up in the corner if you have no bars and you have no fatal blow and you're trying to get out of the corner but your opponent is just being super aggro you're just gonna get messed up in the corner man and just take some insane damage adding an automatic stage transition would help alleviate that pain of just getting muffed up in the corner add a cool stage transition animation and add more stage variety so i would mix the way that injustice 2 and guilty gear strive did it and in my opinion that's just perfect for those that do not know there are some characters like raiden in mortal kombat 1 that have a passive ability but not every character has a passive ability and i don't know why if raiden blocks enough hits here his eyes will glow and that is a passive ability meaning from that point on he will then take less chip damage nothing crazy nothing game changing but that is a passive ability that raiden does have so why don't other characters also have this aspect to them see there we go now our eyes are glowing we got it we can now, now we're taking less chip damage per hit but he's one of the very few that actually has one so why not just give every character a, a very nice simple but easy passive ability again kind of like injustice where every character had a special move they could do per themselves like aquaman could you know water himself up and get out of ground combo batman had the machine bats that would come out superman became aggro so did green lantern they had certain things that enhanced their gameplay but were pretty passive most of the time i would just give every character a passive ability make the game just that much more interesting and that much more in depth and just give every character just that much more personality to their gameplay again i don't think that any of these things that i mentioned today are really gonna happen i doubt that netherrealm's gonna watch this video and go oh these are amazing ideas i mean they are but they're not gonna watch and go we need to change our game now these are just things that i think would help enhance the gameplay of mortal kombat 1 and or make it better but again with that being said let me know your thoughts down below what would you change about mortal kombat 1 and why give me your best ideas if you haven't already subscribe here for more mortal kombat 1 and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat 1 news guides reactions and more